What up folks, Alex here. Welcome to this week's video. And in this one, I'm gonna show you how to put the text behind people or objects, just like you're seeing now within DaVinci Resolve. Now we're gonna do most of the work within the color tab. We're gonna create a simple mask and then we're just gonna track our object and job done. So without any further ado, let's open DaVinci Resolve and take a look, shall we? So here we are in DaVinci Resolve on the edit tab and I've got two examples set up on my timeline. Now the first thing we need to do is just to add some text. So I'm going to open up the effects library, come down to titles, grab a text, and we're just going to put that above our first clip like so. Just shorten that down. Perfect. Now we just need to add whatever text we want in there. I'm just going to put some nonsense for now, just for the example. And then what we need to do is make a duplicate of our original video clip. Now the easiest way to do that Give it a click on your timeline, holding down the Alt key, just drag it above our text like so, and then release. And we've got a nice quick duplicate. So we've got video, text, video. And then we're gonna give this top one a click and then jump straight into the color tab. Now there's a few things we need to do first. First of all, just make sure you're at the very beginning of the clip, so go right to the start like so. And then make sure that you've got your nodes open by clicking on this icon here. And then right click within an empty space, Come down to add alpha output, which will put this little blue dot down here, and then just drag this blue square to the blue dot like so. An alpha output will just mean that anything that's not within our mask will be transparent, revealing the text underneath. And then we just need to create our mask. So underneath our preview window, you've got this menu bar here. Come to this one, the third one in, which is our window. Give that a click. And then I'm just gonna use the pen tool to draw around our object we want to track. So I'm gonna give the pen a click. And then I'm gonna do this really roughly, but you'll wanna be quite accurate for this. The more accurate you do it, the better it's gonna look. But I'm just gonna do this super quick for a demonstration. And then as soon as you complete the mask, you'll see, we'll see our text appear underneath, like so. So that's looking good. Now we just need to track it. So to the right of our window icon, there's this icon, which is our tracker. Give that a click. Make sure that you're in the window option and then make sure to change clip to frame. And then all we're gonna do is hit this little play icon to let it play through and see how well it does at tracking our object. So it's tracked our object, it's got to the end and you can see the mask has sort of followed it but it's gone a bit wonky. So then all we need to do is just to move our points back to where they should be make sure everything lines up again. Like so. And then what we need to do, just scroll through the timeline and just keep your eye and see if anything moves and if everything still lines up okay. If anything's out of place, so I'm just gonna move this here, we can just move it at any point just to make sure that our track is looking good. Now, if you wanna preview it and see how it looks without the big lines in the way, underneath the preview window, you've got this little drop down here on the left. Just click that and then go to off and you can have a look to see how it looks. Now that's not looking too bad. There's a few bits down here where it's a bit wonky. So all we're gonna do, just turn this back on by going to power window and we're just gonna move these out of the way. And we can just make any fine adjustments we want to as we go, just by scrubbing through our timeline, adding new markers, adjusting things to make sure everything lines up. Now, another quick tip, change frame to clip and then jump back into your window. We're gonna turn off our power window again by using the drop down going to off so we can see what we're doing. I'm then just gonna use my mouse wheel to scroll in and you can see here by the eye, we've got this jagged line. Now we can smooth that out just by adding a little bit of softness. So in this window option here, you've got softness, and we're just gonna increase this soft value to add a little bit of softness like so. And if we want to, we can also change the inside and outside values just to make some other fine adjustments like so. I'm gonna go with something like that. And that's looking pretty good. If we jump back into edit, we can just hit play. And there we go. We've got a real quick, simple mask and track with the text underneath. Now I've got another example set up, which is a little bit different. This one's just a short clip of me. So we're gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna copy this text now just for ease. 
And we're going to make a duplicate of that clip. Put that above there like so. I'm going to give it a click. I'm going to jump into the color tab. I'm going to add my alpha output. Like so. Now, if I was to go to the start of this clip, it wouldn't work because obviously I'm not in the frame. So what we're going to do is just to do it backwards. Rather than coming to the start, we're going to go right to the end. And then we're going to do the same thing as before. So I'm going to come into my window. I'm going to grab my pen tool. And again, I'm going to be super rough with this for this demonstration, but you'll want to be as accurate as you can. We'll complete that mask. And now we've got our text appearing underneath like so. We're going to shoot into my tracker. We're on window. We're going to change clip to frame. And then rather than using this play button, which plays forwards, we can use this one to play backwards. Now, as you can see, it will stop automatically when it loses the subject. So it's lost me at this point. Now, that's not the end of the world. All we need to do, drag this down. Make sure that it's looking somewhat correct. So I'm just going to change those slightly. And then we're just going to play again. It's lost me again, so we'll just move that down. Now, I know for a fact it's going to lose me again. So rather than hitting play, we're going to use this one, which is just going to go frame by frame. We'll move that one down. I'll we'll move that off like so. Also, rather than having to click that icon hundreds of times, you can also use the right and left arrow keys on your keyboard to just go through frame by frame and it's a little bit easier. So at this point, it's way off. When does it fall off? Or if I find the point where it really starts to go wrong, which is about here, we'll just move that up. And we'll scroll through, still going a bit wrong there. Some of it's way off here, so we're just going to make these adjustments. And you just want to go through, make sure that the track all lines up. Now you'll notice whenever you make any changes at any point, you'll get these little white dots appearing on the tracker. That just means you've added a keyframe, just letting you know that something's changed at that point. So you can just see where you've made any changes. Keep going through until you've got a decent track. I'm going to leave that as that. It's a bit of a rough one, but it'll do for this demonstration. If we wanted to, we could go frame by frame and just make any amendments we need to. I'm then going to do the same as before. I'm going to click on clip. I'm going to jump back into my window. I'm going to turn off my power window so I can see what I'm doing. It's not looking too bad. It's a bit ropey in parts because I've done this really quickly, but we'll add a little bit of softness. And we'll add some outside just to clean it up a little bit. And then if we hit play. Alex here and welcome to Five Minute Friday. It's a bit rough, but it's not doing a bad job at all. What up folks? Now, as you can see, that's a bit rough, but it still sort of works. The more time you spend masking and tracking, the better it's gonna look. And there you go. It's a little bit fiddly, can take a bit of time, but once you get used to it, once you get used to the process, it's not that bad. And you can start to knock these out relatively quickly. Now, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you've got any comments, feedback, or suggestions, make sure to put them down below. And if you're new here, you enjoyed this video, you want to see a little bit more, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. Thanks ever so much for watching, folks. Take it easy. I'll see you next time. See ya. Hmm?